All right, welcome yoga family. I'm here with Rachel. I'm Amy, of course. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and staying healthy. Uh, we have had requests for a one set Bikram practice. So that's what this is. You're gonna come onto your mat, bring your toes and heels together, arms down by your side. Just bring your attention, your focus into your body, into the room. Just take a moment to center yourself here. Have a wonderful class. Interlace your fingers and place your knuckles underneath your chin. Draw your elbows close, weight to the heels, legs are solid, core is on, look forward. Begin, inhale. Pull the air through the nose, back through the back of the throat, elbows lifting up. Exhale, release the head back. Slow release of the head, slow release of the breath. Elbows come together. Inhale, elbows come up, chin comes down, look forward. But lift up, exhale, open and empty. Root down into your feet, firm the legs, pull the belly in and up. Inhale. And you're taking more air than you think you can, fill all the way up. Exhale, open and empty all the way out. Pull your belly in, squeeze the air out. Inhale, root down into your feet. Firm the legs, pull the belly in, lift up, rib cage is visible. Exhale, open and empty. Bringing palms together, wrists together, forearms together, elbows squeeze tight. Inhale, good, biggest breath so far. Lift up, feel the spine lengthen. Exhale, open and empty, keep that lift, keep that leg, pull the belly in, squeeze the air out. Inhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, that's the pace. Good. Keep it slow. Slow and controlled. Fill up. Exhale, open and empty out. Good. Let it go. Inhale, last two. Biggest breath. Fill yourself up from the bottom to top, every nook and cranny. Exhale, open and empty it out. We're pulling the belly in to squeeze out every drop. Inhale, fill back up. One more sip when you reach the top. Exhale, open and empty. Pull the belly in, squeeze out every drop. And change. Release your arms down. And toes and heels have remained together. Prepare for the asanas. Inhale your arms up. Interlace your fingers. Release your index fingers. Tight grip. Root down into your feet. Firm the legs. Pull the belly on. Take a big rest. Stretch up. Move right and left several times. Work on loosening up both sides of the body. It's lateral flexion of the spine. You're bumping hips left, hips right. You're just checking out how the body feels. Go ahead and stop in the center. Shift the weight back into the heels and root down. Pull your belly on. Take a big rest. Stretch up. Slowly bring your body to the right. Hips and ribs to the left. Shift the weight back into the heels. All ten toes remain pressed down. Zip the legs together. Pull the belly in and up. As you pull your belly in and up, feel how that lifts you out of the lower part of your back. You're stretching up out and over as if you were stretched over a beach ball attached to the right side of the body. Draw your palms together, squeeze your head between your arms, pull your chin away from your chest. Legs solid, core on, arms are firm and set, breath is smooth and steady. Last few moments, come down and push. Change, come up, good, root down, big breath, stretch up, body to the left, hips and ribs to the right. So the weight is back into the heels. Legs are firm and set. Belly is in and up, lifting out of the lower part of your back, stretching up, out, and over. Draw your palms together. Squeeze your head between your arms. Pull your chin away from your chest. Focus forward one spot. Ground down into your right heel. Push your hips and your ribs to the right. 
lengthen out through the fingertips. Deep stretching, deep opening all along the right side of your body. Come down and push. You're moving towards your deepest point. Last few moments, hold here. And breathe into this. Keep the breath flowing, even and steady. Change, come up. Release your head back, drop it all the way back, let it go. Root down firmly into your feet. Push your hips as far forward as you can. Lift your heart as high as you can. You lift your heart up, draw your arms back. Lean back, fall back, all the way back. It doesn't matter how far back you go, as long as you feel something through the front side of your body. Stay rooted in your feet, solid in your legs. Lift your heart up, draw the arms back. Feel that deep stretching, that deep opening through the front side. Change, come up. Good. Lift up, pull your belly on and come down with a flat back. Bend the knees a little bit if you need to. Placing your hands on the mat, walk it out. Right and left several times. And crouch down here. Do what makes you feel loose and comfortable. And toes and heels have remained together. Reach around, scoop up your heels. Sliding your fingertips underneath your heels. Work your elbows as far back behind the calf muscles as you can. Belly and chest will touch with the thighs. Drop your head right away. Let your head hang loose. But you can shake it yes and no a couple of times. And tuck your chin into your chest. Draw your forehead into your shins. Shift the weight forward into the balls of your feet. Press down. As you press down, pull the belly on and lift the tailbone up. As you lift the tailbone up, use bicep strength. Pull the upper body down. You're lengthening heels to tailbone. Tailbone through the top of your head. Big, deep, full breaths into the back side of your body. You're allowing the back side to open. Last few moments, intensify this for yourself. Good. Change. Come up. Squeeze your head between your arms. Pull your belly on. Come up with a flat back. And arms float down. Ukutas and awkward. Right foot tips to the right, six inches. Arms come up parallel to the floor. Firm them up, make them solid. Big breath in, sit the hips down, straight down and back towards the back wall. Drop down, shift the weight back into the heels. All 10 toes remain pressed down. Pull your belly in and up. Lift your heart up. As you lift the heart up, reach the fingertips forward. Stay with your breath here. Sit down a little bit lower, shift the weight back further. Heart higher, change, come up, all the way up onto the toes, maximum. Pull your belly on, focus your eyes forward one spot, sit the hips down. Heels up, knees up, belly in and up, spine as long and straight, top of the head is lifting, tailbone is heavy, feel the spine long, pull your belly in tighter, come up a little higher on the toes, change, come up. Good. Release the heels down. Lift the heels back up. Knees and inner thighs together. Lower, slow, and with control. Good. Slowing down the closer you get to your heels. Knees are squeezing together as tight as you can. Belly pulls in and up. Top of the head is lifting. You're angling your knees down and forward. If I place the ball on your lap, it would slowly roll off and hit the floor. Pull your belly in. Lift through the top of your head. Come up an inch. And then push all the way back up, slow and with control. Beautiful job. Right foot steps back to the place, arms down. Galarasana Eagle, arms overhead sideways, right arm underneath the left. Cross wrap and twist. Pull the belly on, drop the hips down low, right leg high over the left. Right foot behind the left calf muscle. If that is not available today, point your toes to where you would like them to go. Work on eliminating any gaps. Squeeze your legs together tightly. Squeeze your arms together. Pull the belly in and up. Lower body to the right a little. Left hip comes forward. Upper body left. Right shoulder comes forward. Squeeze everything tight. Sit down a little bit lower. Change, come up, arms up. Left arm underneath the right. Good, belly on, drop the hips down low. Left leg over right. Good. Press firmly into the right foot. Squeeze everything together. 
pull your belly in and up, lift the heart up, pull the elbows towards the thighs. Good. Lower body left, right hip forward. Upper body left, left shoulder forward. Squeeze everything together, pull your belly on, drop down a little bit lower, and change. Come up, arms up, arms down. And go and have a sip of water if you'd like one, or just stand still on your mat. And preparing for the standing one-legged balancing series, press firmly into your left foot, pull your belly on, right leg lifts up. Good. Big breath in, round over, find a grip underneath the right foot. Ten fingers are interlaced tightly. Eyes focus forward one spot. And with your eyes focusing forward, bring your mind's attention to your left foot. Push the left foot down. Firm the left leg, make it solid. Pull the belly in and up. Smooth out your breath. This is your foundation. So as long as you have those three things in place, standing leg solid, core on, smooth, steady breath, you're getting all of the benefits. If you are ready to kick out, go ahead and extend through the right heel, pull back on the right toes. If you can straighten and engage the right leg, elbows will work in and down. If the elbows go below, you tuck chin to chest and bring the forehead to the knee. This comes from the core. Pull your belly in to round the spine. Standing leg solid. Kicked out leg is nice and solid. Last few moments. Change to release it. Step back slowly. Good. Press firmly into your right foot. Left leg lifts up. Big breath, round over. Find a grip underneath the left foot. Good. Push down into your right foot. Right leg is solid, core is on. Eyes are focused forward, breath is smooth and steady. So just feel into this here for a moment. This is your foundation. Feel into the core creating balance for you. If you're ready to kick out, go ahead, extend through the heel, pull back on the toes. Right leg remains solid. Press through the left heel, pull back on the left toes. If you can straighten and engage the left leg, Elbows work in and down. That comes from the core. Pull the belly in as you lower the elbows in and down. You're rounding the spine. Last few moments, tuck your chin to your chest. Bring your forehead to your knee. Good. If kicking out is not available, you're standing with the standing leg solid, the core on, and the breath smooth. Good. That's where you get the benefits. Change. Release it. Step out slowly. You can place your hands on the low back, do a little back bend if it's helpful for you. The next pose is a back bend, Dhanayamana Dhanayarasana, standing bow pulling. Bend the right elbow, drop your right hand down, grab your right foot from the inside. It's the big toe side of the foot, soft part of the elbow facing out. Left arm goes high, draw your knees together, right knee down, left hand reaching up, take a big breath, point the toes and kick. Good. Kick straight back. Kick straight up. Charge the body forward. Standing leg stays solid. Bring your mind's attention to your left foot. Push the left foot down. Firm the left leg. Pull the belly in and up. It's the same foundation as the last pose. Same foundation as the next pose. Kick back hard. The force of the kick pulls the right shoulder back and behind you. Left shoulder comes up and forward. You're pulling your shoulders into a line. Lower down so that you feel the heart rate go up. Feel the deep stretch underneath the left leg. And if you fall out at any point, it's not a big deal. You just take a breath, you get right back in. It doesn't matter how many times you fall out. It only matters how many times you get back in. Good. Find your way into it. Firm the standing leg, firm the core. Last few moments. Good. Kick hard, reach forward, lower in. change. Release it. Beautiful job. And drop your arms down. Stillness and breath here for a moment. And bend the left elbow. Drop your left hand down. Grab your left foot from the inside. And draw your knees together. Right arm goes high. Good. Left knee down. Right hand up. Look forward. Big breath. Point the toes and kick. Kick back. Kick up. Charge forward. Kicking and stretching are equal and simultaneous. 
50-50. The harder you kick back, the more you reach forward to maintain balance. Eyes are focused forward one spot. Push the right foot down. Firm the right leg. Pull the belly in and up. Kick. Kick hard. Reach forward. And then begin to lower down. And lowering down brings the heart rate up. That's what you're looking for, that elevation of heart rate. Keep pressing into the right foot, firming through the right leg. If you fall out again, just get right back into it. I'm going to kick back as hard as you can. Reach forward last few moments. And change. Release it. Drop your arms by your side. Take a step to the back of your mat. Tula Dandasana balancing stick. Inhale your arms up, big breath, stretch up, step forward, right leg, go upper body, down leg, up, right leg is solid, left leg is solid, belly pulls in and up from the suck in of the belly, reach forward, stretch your toes back, lengthen, change, step back, Good. big breath, stretch up, step forward, left leg, go upper body, down leg, up. Firm up both of your legs. Push the left foot down. Firm the left leg. Pull the belly on. Firm up the right leg. It has just as much to do with the balance as the standing leg. Take a big breath. Reach forward. Stretch back. Change. Step back. Arms down. Quarter turn to the left. Step all the way to the left side of your towel. Toes and heels together. Inhale your arms up. Take a big step to the right. Forefoot. Arms come down. Pitch toe the toes just a little. Outside of edges of the feet are parallel. Legs are firm. Belly is on. Lift the heart high. Come forward with a long spine. And reach around. Scoop up the heels or the sides of your feet. And if you're a little more flexible, you're going to reach back for your heels. A little less flexible. Slide your hands forward up by your baby toes. Or place your hands on the mat in line with the shoulders. Let your head release completely. Look at the space between the heels. That's where you're headed. So you may or may not get there today or this year. It doesn't matter when you get there. You just know where you're headed. Shift the weight forward into the balls of your feet and push down. Firm your legs. Make them solid. Engage the legs. Pull the belly in and up. Tailbone lifts up. As you lift the tailbone up, use bicep strength. Pull the upper body down. You're lengthening heels to tailbone. Tailbone through the top of your head. Last few moments. Change. Come up. Legs solid. Core on. Whole way up. Right steps back to the place. Arms up. Arms down. And Chikanasana triangle. Inhale your arms up. Big step to the right. Forefoot. Arms down. Pivot on your right foot, right big toe points forward. Bend the right knee, set the hips down, 90 degree angle at the right knee. Left leg is solid, core is on, top of the head is lifting. Flip your palms and rotate. Right elbow comes in contact with the knee. Turn, look up past the left thumb. And with your gaze up, bring your mind's attention to your feet. Push your feet down into the mat. Energetically draw your heels together. Pull the belly in and up. Press the hips forward. Gently press your right knee towards your right baby toe. Now you're firm and set through the lower half of your body. This allows the upper body to be fluid. Push into your feet. Pull into the core. Right rib cage comes forward. Left rib cage spins opening. Turn. Lift your heart up. Reach your right fingertips down. Stretch your left fingertips up. Reach open. Change, come up. You know, pivot on your left foot. Bend the knee, sit the hips down. Good. Bounce down, get low. 90 degree angle, left knee, right leg solid. Core on, lift the heart. Flip the palms, rotate. Good, stay with your breath. Good. Bring your mind's attention to your breath. Your gaze is up. Mind is on your feet. Push down, pull your belly on. Hips forward. Gently left knee towards the baby toe. Left rib cage forward, right rib cage spinning open. So from the strength of the lower half of your body, you open up. Turn, lift the heart up. 
From here, focus your eyes, bring your mind's attention to breath. Breathe into the shape that you created here. Push down, pull the belly on, turn, twist, open it up, change, come up. Beautiful. Right foot steps back to the place, arms up, arms down. And inhale your arms up, palms together. Take a step to the right, three feet, little shorter. Pick up your toes, pivot to the front. Left hip comes forward a couple of times. Take a big breath, stretch up. Tuck the chin and curl in. Curl in tightly, bringing your forehead to the knee. You can bend the knee as much as you need to, but touch the forehead and the knee together. You're working to keep your hands together in prayer position. Fingertips stretching forward. If this is not available, hook your thumbs together and spread your fingers out. Ultimate goal, hands together in prayer position. This challenges the leg and the core strength to hold you in place. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for that challenge to the balance. Hands to prayer. Push down into your feet, pull into the core, tuck the chin in tighter, come up slowly. Curl up nice and slow, push your feet down. Pivot left and left again. And right hip comes forward, root down, big breath, stretch up, tuck the chin, curl in. And bring your forehead to the left knee. You can bend the knee as much as you need to, but touch the forehead and the knee together. Left foot pushes down, left hip presses back and up, belly pulls in and up. You're rounding the spine as much as you can. And you're creating space between each and every vertebrae. You're stretching all of the muscles that run along the spine. Ground down into your feet, pull into the core. Hands to prayer position, keep your chin tucked, curl up slow. Good, pivot forward, right foot steps back to the place, arms down. And turn and face forward, set up for tree pose. Good, press firmly into your left foot, lift your right foot up, outside edge of the foot up into the hip crease. Good. So pressing into your left foot, right foot lifts up, right hand to prayer position. Good. Press down into the left foot, pull the belly in and lift through the top of her head. As you press the hips forward, gently press your right knee back. If you have two knees in a line from the side, you can bring your left hand to prayer position. And you're welcome to stay here. If you can come to toe stand, look on the floor four feet in front of you and come forward, place your hands on the mat. And walk your fingertips forward. Come up onto the ball of the foot, bend the knee, sit the hips down. And walking your hands to the sides of your body and balancing on your fingertips. Pull the belly and lift through the top of her head. Our toe standards press up. Treat can release. Good. Press firmly into your right foot, left foot comes up. Outside edge of the foot up into the hip crease. Left hand to prayer position. Right if you can. Good, hold here in your tree pose, firming in the right leg, pulling the belly on, lifting through the top of her head. If you're ready for toe stand, look on the floor and come forward. If you're staying in tree pose, drop your gaze to the floor four feet in front of you. This sets the body's intention to move forward and to toe stand. Walk your hands to the sides of your body, pull your belly and lift through the top of your head. Two standards press up. Tree can release. And take a moment, honor yourself, honor your body for a wonderful standing series. Turn around and lie down on your back. heels towards one another let your toes flop open to the side your arms are in close palms face up chin is tucked just a little so the neck is long 
When you find this position, take a really big breath in. On that exhale, let your whole body melt down. And let the floor support you completely. goal here is to keep your mind connected to your body and your breath. And you may notice that your mind drifts. As soon as you notice, just gently guide yourself back. This is a reading from a book by Pema Chandran. It's called Developing True Courage. As long as we're caught up and always looking for certainty and happiness, rather than honoring the taste and smell and quality of exactly what is happening, as long as we're running from discomfort, we're going to be caught in a cycle of unhappiness and disappointment and we will feel weaker and weaker. Instead of asking ourselves, how can I find security and happiness? We could ask ourselves, can I touch the center of my pain? Can I sit with suffering, both yours and mine, without trying to make it go away? Can I stay present to the ache of loss or disgrace, disappointment in all its many forms, and let it open me? This is the trick. I'm preparing for Pavanakutasana, winter mimming pose. Right leg lifts up, all ten fingers interlace tightly. Pull the right knee to the right shoulder until you meet a resistance. Right foot is relaxed. All 10 fingers are interlaced tight. Take a big breath in on that exhale. Pull in a little tighter. Notice how that exhale creates space. A big breath in, pull in tighter. And release. Right leg down, left leg lifts up. Pull the knee to the shoulder till you meet a resistance. Take a big breath in on that exhale. Move beyond the resistance freeze. Elbows stay tucked in tight. Chin is tucked just a little so you're looking down your chest. Take a big breath, pull in tighter. I'm ready to sit. Left leg down, both legs lift up. Reach over the legs, opposite elbows. Feet are together, side by side, completely relaxed. And if grabbing your opposite elbows is not available, reach for forearms or wrists or fingers. Goal is to squeeze the knees together and hug them to the chest. Take a big breath in on that exhale. Let the spine be heavy. Change, release. And heels together, let your toes flop open. preparing for your first setup. If you have any lower back issues, you can roll over and meet us on the floor. Otherwise, bring your arms over your head, link your thumbs together, flex your feet towards your face, take a big breath, sit up, double exhale, grab your toes, bring your forehead to your knees, stretch it out, and turn around. Lie down on your belly, Bhujangasana. Fingertips in line with the shoulders, baby pinky fingers line up outside the edges of the shoulders. Zip your legs together. Press your feet down, inhale, look up, lift the upper body away from the floor. Squeeze your legs together tightly. Push your feet down firmly. Belly in and up, traction your hands back, pull your heart forward, lift your heart up, lift your gaze up, change. Release, look off to the right. Bring your 
chin forward. Bring your arms underneath your body, palms down. Baby pinky fingers side by side. Spread your fingers out nice and wide. Good. Firm your right leg. Lift your right leg up off the floor. Good. Engage the right leg. Make it solid. Feel the strength of the right leg. Press down into your hands. Shift the weight forward. Press your shoulders, your chest down. Pull your belly on. Inhale the leg a little higher. Change. Left leg is locked. Lift the left leg up off the floor. Lock it, lift it, keep it solid. Press your hands down. Pull your belly on. Press the weight forward. Lift the leg a little higher. Hold here, breathe. Change. Put your mouth against the toe. Work your fingertips down towards your feet. Squeeze your legs together tight. Inhale, lift both legs up off the floor. Press down into your hands, press the weight forward. Keep your belly on, legs squeezed together as tight as you can. Lift them a little higher, release. Look off to the left. chin forward. Bring your arms out to the side. Zip your legs together tightly. Inhale. Lift everything away from the floor. Legs squeeze together tight. Shoulder blades squeeze together. From that squeeze, reach out through your fingertips. Look up with your eyes. Body likes to go where the eyes go. Lift the heart higher. Release. Look off to the right. chin forward. Bend both knees, grab both feet. Good. Zip your legs together to begin. Inhale, point your toes and kick. Kick hard. Let the force of the kick pull the upper body away from the floor. Shift the weight onto the soft part of your belly. Pull your belly in and up. Look up with your eyes. Again, body likes to go where the eyes go. Look up. Kick as hard as you can. Stay with your breath no matter what. Breath is always the guide. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. And look off to the left. Let the body be heavy against the mat. chin forward. Place your hands underneath your chest. Press yourselves up. Good. Come to the top of your towel. Fix firm. Separate your heels. Sit your hips down. Separate the knees a little bit if you need to. Place your hands on the soles of your feet and walk it back. Right elbow, left elbow, top of the head, and then shoulders will come back. Good. You can open your knees as wide as you need to here. Keep your heels tucked in tight to your hips. When you're down, you can reach over your head for the opposite elbows. And if you've separated the knees, energetically be, draw the knees together. Keep pressing your knees down towards the mat. Lift the heart up. Change, come up. Come a little bit forward of the knees and turn around, lie down, release. And flex your feet back, arms overhead, link your thumbs together, inhale, sit up, turn around, come to the back of your towel. When you're kneeling down, inhale your arms up, palms together. Pull your belly on, big breath, stretch up. Come down with a long spine. Good. Tailbone presses back, belly pulls on, reach your fingertips forward. Find length in the spine. Good. 
big deep full breaths into the lower part of your back so as you breathe in you feel the low back expand and as you breathe out you feel the hips soften Squeeze your legs together, squeeze your head between your arms, pull your belly on, come up, arms down, turn around, lie down. Flex your feet back, arms overhead, link your thumbs together, inhale, sit up. Turn around, come to the top of your tail, camel pose. Knees and feet are six inches apart. Hands come to the lower part of your back, fingertips down. Upper arm bones and elbows come close, press the hips forward, lift the heart up, go back halfway. Good. You can stay here, pressing the hips forward and lifting the heart up. If it's available, reach back for your heels. Once you have a grip on the heels, you're pulling on the heels as you press the hips forward and lift the heart high. Wherever you're at, stay with your breath. Change. Come up slow. And turn around. Lie down, release. Flex your feet back, arms up our head, link your thumbs, inhale, sit up, turn around, come to the top of your towel. We're gonna do second set, we're gonna do two sets of camel pose. Such an important pose here in this crazy time. Bring your hands to the low back, hips forward, heart up, go back. You can stay as long as you'd like here. Stay one or two breaths longer than you normally would and when you're ready to come out, you'll find your way to Savasana. Wherever you're at, stay with the breath. You're lifting the heart up, opening yourself up here. Flex your feet back, arms overhead, link your thumbs together. Inhale, sit up. And turn around. Come to the center of your tail, Sasangasana Rabbit. Place the talages over the heels or just make sure that you have a tight grip on your heels. You sit up tall, take a big breath, tuck the chin, curl in. Good. Curl in tight, forehead to the knees, pull on the heels and lift the hips up. Good. Anchor in here, push the tops of your feet, your ankles, your shins, your knees down. Pull hard, pulling creates the stretch. Pull on your heels, pull the belly in, ground the spine as much as you can. You're opening through the back side of your body. Change, come up, keep your chin tucked. Curl up slow and turn around, lie down. your feet back, arms over head, link your thumbs, inhale, sit up, turn around, come to the top of your towel, kick your right leg out, left sole of the foot touches with the right inner thigh, inhale your arms up, twist to the right, come down, ten fingers interlaced underneath the foot, forehead and knee in contact, press your right heel forward, pull back on the right toes, elbows will work in and down, and pull your belly in as tight as you can. Draw your forehead up as high onto the knee as you can. And 
change. Come up, kick the left leg out. Twist to the left, come down, 10 fingers interlaced underneath the foot. You can bend up the left knee as much as you need to in order to get all 10 of your fingers interlaced underneath the foot, in order to get the forehead and the knee in contact. Two most important parts of this. All 10 fingers interlaced underneath the foot, forehead and knee contact. From here, push out through the left heel, pull back on the left toes, pull your belly in and up. Elbows will work in and down, even if that's just an energetic thought in your mind. Change, come up, kick both legs out, let out, quick sit up. As soon as you hit the ground, sit right back up. Grab your big toes, pick up your right leg, walk it back, pick up your left leg, walk it back. You'll walk back several times. Press your heels forward, pull back on the toes, take a big breath in, exhale, pull. Push your heels forward, pull back on the toes. Big breath in, lengthen the spine, hold it here. Change, come up, turn around, and lie down. And flex your feet back, arms overhead. Link your thumbs, inhale, sit up. Good, turn towards the windows. <laughs> final, spinal. Bend the left leg out in front of you. Bring your right foot up over the left knee corner. So right ankle, left knee, same spot. Right arm behind you. Left arm stretches up over the right knee. Left hand grabs the left knee. Roll your right hip back down onto the mat. Pull your belly in and up. Inhale, stretch up, get long. Exhale and twist look over the right shoulder. Inhale, stretch up, lengthen. Exhale and twist, twist. Twist, change, release it. Bend the right leg out in front of you. Left foot up over the knee corner, ankle knee, same spot. Left arm behind, right arm up over the knee. Good. Right hand grabs the right knee, look over the left shoulder. Inhale, stretch up, get long. Exhale and twist, look over the left shoulder. Inhale, stretch up, exhale and twist. Inhale, stretch up, lengthen. Exhale, twist, 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 change. Turn around, lie down, release. And flex your feet back, arms overhead, link your thumbs, inhale, sit up. Turn around, set up for couple bhati breathing. Final breathing, you're kneeling down. Unless you have knee injuries, then you're welcome to sit cross leg. You'll sit up nice and tall, relax your belly completely on my clap. You'll snap your belly and look forward. Ready, set, begin. Turn around, find your final savasana. You want to give yourself at least two minutes here. This is where your body will absorb the benefits of the practice, where you'll gain some new energy. Just find a comfortable position here. You can open your arms, open your legs. You can close your eyes if you'd like. When you find a comfortable position, take a really big breath in. On the exhale, let your whole body melt down. Thank you for being here with us today. We can't wait to see you in person in the hot room. Take care of yourself. I wish you peace, joy, and freedom today and all of your days. Namaste.